everybody. People whose back or neck pain has not been relieved by back surgery or other treatments may have another option to consider, spinal cord stimulation. Now our next guest does this expertly. Dr. Eric Roger is a Cleveland Clinic trained neurosurgeon right here in Buffalo, and he's here to tell us more about this and who could benefit from this. Good morning, nice good to Good morning, have you how are you? Very good, thank you. I should say buongiorno, buongiorno. I just got back from Italy. <laughs> Wonderful, I wish, I wish we would have joined oh, you on that trip. I would have loved it. That would have been great. This is gonna be of, this has, you've had tremendous success with so many people who have had chronic pain for years in their back and neck. It is wonderful. We have, uh, we have sort of three categories of patients. We have patients that have had multiple, multiple surgeries. Uh, they really should not have any more surgeries or there's nothing else to be done, but they're still suffering either with back pain or leg pain. Uh, and they're, they've exhausted everything. There's really nothing left for them to do. And spinal cord stimulation is a great option for mm -hmm. them. Uh, then we also have patients that have had uh, a smaller surgery and are looking at the possibility of a larger surgery uh, and they may be older or they may not be interested in a bigger surgery. Uh, and then the spinal cord stimulation becomes an option instead mm -hmm. of a bigger surgery. Right, because if, if you hold this up, we're going to show you what we're talking about. You're only implanting these tiny wires that go right to where the pain is. Exactly, so these little wires here, I'll just pull one out here, but these little wires have electrodes, uh, little contacts that you see here, and they're connected to a battery pack. So it's very similar, I explained to patients that it's very similar to a pacemaker. Mm -hmm. So a pacemaker goes here and the wires go to your heart. This one, the little battery, uh, that's pretty much the same thing as a pacemaker battery. Mm -hmm. It goes on, on the flank area, sort of the love handles, mm -hmm. and then the wires are, are, are brought up to the sort of mid thoracic between your shoulder blade area. Mm -hmm. There's two good things about it. The first one is that you get to try it first. Isn't that something? You get to Which try it first. It's unusual. You know, this is the only right. surgery that we know that you get to try first. And so what they do is they put a little needle down and then they run the wires up through a needle. And instead of having this battery here, the wires come out of your skin and they're attached to a battery pack that you try for four or five days. Right. And after four or five days, they adjust it. They change, they, they, they'll move it up a little bit, move it down to see where the stimulation is the best. And after four or five days, they just pull it right out. Mm -hmm. And if it does not help, then no harm done. Exactly. It was worth a try. Right. If it does help, then we do the permanent one where everything is under the skin. So some people have this idea that the battery is going to be outside of their skin. No, no, no. Mm -mm. it's all inside like a pacemaker. Right. right. The second thing that's great about it is if we do end up putting it in permanently, it only takes 45 minutes. It's amazing. So and it's, it's a small it's procedure. Sm a small incision too. It's a small incision. And how long does that battery last? The battery varies a little bit depending on the utilization. So if, if someone requires a lot of stimulation, the batteries may last or may wear down faster, but they're typically about 10 years. And now Ten there years. are some batteries that are rechargeable. Oh. <laughs> so they just basically wear a little belt with an external sort of uh, iPhone charger look-alike yeah. thing. And, uh, and they, they charge it and then they can they can they don't have to replace it every four or five years so people who who, who have had painkiller addiction should maybe check this out. This could be very right. very important for them So you know this day and age there's a lot of talk about um, Opioid uh, epidemic sure and it, it really is an epidemic uh, Through the years we've had a lot of patients that have had chronic pain that really have needed the medication mm -hmm. uh, but the problem with opioids is that as you take it, your body gets used to it, and after a while, the, the pain comes back. Yes. And I don't mean after two, three weeks, I mean after three, four, five years, the pain comes back and then you need to up the dose. Mm -hmm. Well, people with chronic pain can have chronic pain for 10, 15, 20 years. Oh. And after a while, the dose becomes so high that uh, it becomes a problem. And it's almost impossible for them to get off of it because their body's used to such a high dose of narcotics. So it's, it's, it's an issue. And oh. And of course, there's all the illegal use of opioids that, that's right. attached to that. So what we want people to do is to consider this. This is, uh, this is called spinal cord stimulation, okay? This is done by Dr. Eric Roger. Please call him. He also can uh, talk to you about uh, redo surgery as well. Here's the number. Make sure you go and feel better, folks.